this is my first international visit after assuming the role of Sikong uh, on May 27 uh, this year. Uh, my first visit to Bolzano and Trento, uh, which is an uh, autonomous region of uh, South Tyrol. And South Tyrol is uh, one example of autonomy. If the federal government and the state government has the political will, then they can be a solution to any conflict peacefully. And uh, once you reach an agreement, and if the federal government and the state government are happy with that arrangement, then there need not be any more conflict. And uh, that is why uh, symbolically it's very important that I go to South Tyrol as an autonomous region. But at the same time, we had a long association with the URAC Academy and the provincial governments of Bolzano and Trento on many projects that we have been doing since 1993. And then, of course, there was this interparliamentary um, alliance on China meeting in Roma, uh, where uh, the G20 meeting is also happening. Uh, this is for the first time that the interparliamentary alliance on China is meeting physically for the first time in Roma uh, to send a message to the G G20 leaders that uh, it's not just enough to have freedom in the democratic countries but it's essential to make sure that people who are repressed, who are suppressed by authoritarian regimes, particularly the communist uh, Chinese government, on the people of Uyghur, on the people of Tibet, on the people of Southern Mongolia, for Hong Kongers, and all that is not right, and it has to be corrected. And then China's belligerence also on India, on Taiwan, on... Uh, uh, thus in the South China Sea and uh, trade disputes with the United States and Europe and all these are not helping for China to become a responsible world leader. Everybody wanted China to be a responsible world leader. That is why they helped China become a big economic power. So today China is a big economic power. China has military power. China has uh, diplomatic power. But the only power they lack is moral power. So. Now, what, needs, what China needs to do is to change its position to become more responsible, more democratic, more respectful for human dignity, more respectful for human rights, more respectful in terms of uh, democratizing China uh, in the future. So this International Parliamentary Alliance on China is quite a new association of uh, members of parliament from 24 different countries as of now and uh, hopefully this will expand into the future and uh, uh, we are grateful that uh, such a new platform has uh, happened and uh, uh, otherwise it is very difficult for people like uh, uh, Tibetans or Uyghurs to get a platform to speak about their problem internationally. Um, that is why uh, this interparliamentary uh, alliance on China is important. Then there is also the conference in Geneva called the Geneva Forum, organized by the Office of Tibet Geneva, to discuss about the situation inside Tibet and our strategy and the UNHCR. Uh, so uh, these are the two main reasons why I'm here. So when I'm here, it's very important that I meet with the Tibet supporters. And this morning we met with the uh, Tibet supporters in Italy from different regions, particularly more from Roma at this time. And then tomorrow, today evening, I meet with the Tibetan community in Italy and uh, then uh, Tibetan community in Switzerland.